What's up everyone, welcome to Clown World News, welcome to the circus. We have the most confusing story I've read all week, day, whatever, year. Hyperbole, hyperbole, hyperbole. So the University of Michigan in Dearborn is hosting a whites only cafe in the name of equality? What? Dude, this one, this one is such a brain fart. So, uh, UM Dearborn, non-POC cafe. The non-POC People of Color Cafe is a space for students that do not identify as persons of color, aka white people, to gather and to discuss their experience as students on campus and as non-POC in the world. Hosted by the Center for Social Justice and Inclusion. What? So apparently this is created by people who uh, spout leftist ideology. So this is a leftist idea to create uh, a whites-only cafe. Segregation is alive and well at the University of Michigan Dearborn, where leftists have created a cafe only for white people. And I'll link to this. This, I mean, you could probably find out about this at other places, but but what it was unveiled this week and students must rsvp to enter the cafe where presumably they will get to hang out exclusively with people of their own race how is this supposed to promote inclusion and diversity what it does not appear to be that the intention of this segregated cafe is a lesson in what it was like before the abolishment of laws that enforce segregation the statement on the site launching this new segregationist initiative reads yeah, we, we already read that. Not only are white people who don't identify themselves by a melanin-infused skin tone meant to talk about how they feel about being white people, about not being of color, their conversation will be facilitated. The cafe will be facilitated by a non-white POC, by a non-POC, by a non-POC, so by a white staff, faculty member, to ensure that discussions are kept safe and respectful. To recap, the white people who gather to talk about their whiteness will be observed by a white person to make sure that their discussions on whiteness are of the appropriate kind. The cafe will be recurring bi-monthly, generally to occur on the first Tuesday of every month at 2 p.m. and the third Wednesday of every month at 7 p.m. Dates and times are subject to change depending on feedback and demand. Oh, you're going to get feedback for this. I have a feeling... You're going to get more feedback than a, a mama bird feeding her babies. You're going to get quite a lot. Just in case those non-white persons who identify as persons of color felt left out of this leftist segregationist model, the University of Michigan has created a cafe that is only for students of color as well. It is unclear as to which cafe will have the better water fountains. Damn. Whoever, who wrote this? Who wrote? Libby Evans. Shout out. Shout out Libby Evans. That quip. So we have, here's the, the whites only cafe, and then here we have the, the BIPOC cafe, black, indigenous, and people of color. Cafe is a space for students from marginalized racial, ethnic, cultural communities to gather and to relate with one another and to discuss their experience as students on campus and as people of color in the world. Hosted by the Center for Social Justice or whatever the fuck. Other universities have taken up the same line. Boston University's Howard Thurman Center for Common Ground also aims at creating equality by segregating students by race. This strict exclusion is done to be inclusive. What? We're going to exclude to include. You can't include us if you exclude us. Upcoming at the HTC is a black community reception, which will be the 20th annual event of this kind. What? Additional exclusive inclusive events. What the fuck? People, what is this is a bigger oxymoron than Microsoft works. This is the most back backwards big small fat skinny like what what is this? Events were held for LGBTQ plus plus A B but minus one zero the letter nine and Latin X students. BU also has People of Color Playground, which touts itself as a space for students to ask and to be asked difficult questions about who they are and how they fit in the world. What are you doing? You guys are supposed to be higher educated, smart people. How do you not realize this doesn't sound very smart? 
These segregated spaces are being created under the mission of diversity, equity, and inclusion, and have been perpetrated by those espousing leftist ideology. The Post Millennial, this article which I will link to, has reached out to the to the Center for Social Justice and Inclusion for comment, and they said that UM Dearborn regrets having used the term cafe to describe the events, and that the descriptions themselves were not clear and not reflective of the university's commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. So I think that their point was that like it's not like a food place necessarily. I mean, there will be food there probably, but it's more for just like a hey, come meet. Because we have all these, you know, black only meet and greets, we're going to have a white only meet and greet. They said that the university is committed to fostering and maintaining an inclusive campus environment and encourages ongoing dialogue amongst our students, faculty and staff on challenging issues. Well, here's a challenging issue. Have you guys heard about this university that's trying to bring back segregation? Maybe you want to talk about that at one of these meetings. The original intent, they said, was to provide students from marginalized communities a space that allowed for them to exist freely without having to normalize their lives and experiences while also providing students that do not identify as persons of color the opportunity to deepen their understanding of race and racism without harming or relying on students of color to educate them. Okay, so I get. I think the idea is that we're going to have a bunch of white people tell a bunch of white people why they're racist and then maybe they'll be able to digest it better than if a bunch of black people scream at them why they're racist and then have a bunch of black people tell black people why they should feel uh, oppressed instead of having a white girl guy dude person tell them is that the idea they said that the events were never intended to be exclusive or exclusionary for individuals of a certain race except that's literally the only thing they are both events were open to all members of the umd board campus community wait really then what's the what's the point? Why would you even call it that if if anyone? Or do you mean that like you can go to at least one of these things? I don't. What are you saying? You're literally saying four plus four equals nine, but sometimes it equals three. We're trying to see if it equals eight, but we need to have other people tell us. The university has since taken down the page, despite the earlier declaration that these events would be a bi-monthly events. Yeah. Uh, what? what is juice my dude why would this be a thing why would we ever do this i don't and you guys know what evergreen is look into evergreen because evergreen caused a lot of this nonsense it was like one of the powder kegs for a lot of this and they had a, a no white people day where if you were white they they used to have a day where it was like if you were a person of color you didn't have to come to school if you wanted to, you, you could just, everyone would just stay, stay out if you didn't want. But then they switched it up in like 2016 or something and they made it so that, or maybe 2018 or one of these, one of these years, they made it so that white people couldn't come to school. And then some, some, uh, professors like Weinstein, Weinstein, or Weinstein, one of those guys, Eric, I believe, Eric Weinstein, he was, he'd refused. And then the there was mobs coming for him and he with bats and he, the police told him that they wouldn't be able to help him and it was fucking crazy this made mid 2017 national news for its black students demands for all whites to leave campus for a much needed day of time out on congregations <laughs> is that it again what Okay, uh, nonsense town, total top peak clown world. I don't, I really don't think that there's an angle I could see that this makes sense in. I'm trying, I'm trying to use my empathy. I'm trying to understand. It's just like, why? It seems like this is just designed to push an ideology as effectively as possible. If you surely if you were against segregation and you wanted to promote that idea, you wouldn't segregate to do it, right? It's like having a it's like how it's a it's like a lot of things. It's like a lot of things that I might get in trouble for trying to compare it to, but it, it's just it's stupid. Yeah, here's a bunch of news about it. Uh really there's not much else to talk about. Uh you gotta let me know what you think, because that's a bunch of goobly gock. Bunch of malarkey. Go we cut the malarkey.
Where's Dave Chappelle when you need him? Where's actually where's the Chappelle show? The Chappelle show would be able to make an episode every single night on all of this noise. But Dave Chappelle was trying to, I believe, at the time, expose and poke fun at a lot of these stupid things. And maybe he got scared and ran away to Africa because of uh, maybe there's a group of people, uh, mafia, cabal, or whatever you want to call it, powers that be running Hollywood and wherever else, the industry. Yeah, this is batshit crazy. I don't know, man. Uh, could we not do this? Let me know what you think in the comments. What you think about all this noise? Do you know information? Have you ever had to deal with this at your own college, your own university? It seems nonsense. I know that uh, some people's grandparents, maybe parents, have had to deal with some of this noise. And it wasn't fun. So yeah, uh, if you support uh, independent investigative journalism, you can check out my description. I do have a Patreon and other ways you can support the channel, but just comment and let me know what you think. That's my favorite way. So take everything you hear with a grain of salt, even though it is here and it was on the actual website, but the website uh, won't let you go to it anymore. Like if you click on this, it's you're not allowed to access this page, aka it's been taken down. So yeah, uh, stay vigilant, stay alert i don't want to say stay woke they kind of ruined woke for me and i don't want to say stay red pilled because uh, everything got polarized for some reason i'm just trying to be you know moderate and look at both things everything as much as objectively as i can so uh be a good person exercise eat good call your mom peace